BPC-157. Some call it a miracle peptide for healing injuries, reducing inflammation, and even protecting the gut. But does it really work? And is it safe? Today, I'll break down the science, the potential benefits and risks, so you can make an informed decision. Stay tuned, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy science-backed health content. BPC-157 stands for Body Protection Compound 157. It's a synthetic peptide derived from a protein found in the stomach. Sounds pretty simple, right? But here's where it gets interesting. It's believed to have powerful healing properties. How does it work? Well, it does several things. It promotes blood vessel growth, or angiogenesis. It reduces inflammation. It enhances gut healing. And it possibly improves brain function. Although it hasn't been FDA approved for human use, Early studies in animals show promising results. Now let's talk about why people are so excited about BPC-157. Here are some of its most talked about benefits. Gut healing and protection. It's been shown to repair ulcers, leaky gut, and inflammatory bowel diseases like IBD, Crohn's, and colitis. It also may help reduce acid damage in the stomach, speeds up injury recovery. It may accelerate wound healing, tendon, ligament, and muscle recovery. It's often used by athletes and biohackers for quicker rehab. It reduces inflammation and pain. Early studies suggest it decreases inflammatory markers. It could be useful for arthritis and chronic pain conditions. It supports brain and nerve function. Some research suggests it helps with brain injuries, depression, and neuroprotection. So it has possible applications for traumatic brain injury recovery. Sounds amazing, right? But here's where things get tricky. Does the science actually back it up? While animal studies are promising, we have very limited human data. Most research has been done on rats, showing faster healing of tendons and muscles, protection against NSAID-induced stomach damage, and reduced inflammation markers. But here's the reality. Without large-scale, peer-reviewed human studies, we can't say for sure how it works in people. So while it's exciting, it's still in the experimental phase. Okay, so what about safety? So here's what we know so far. Possible side effects include mild nausea or dizziness, injection site irritation, if it's being used subcutaneously, and of course, there's always potential for long-term unknown risks. Since BPC-157 is not FDA approved and isn't regulated like prescription drugs, purity and quality can vary greatly. Buying from unverified sources could expose you to contaminated or faked products. My professional advice, if you're considering BPC-157, consult a healthcare provider first. Safety first, always. Now let's talk about how people take it. BPC-157 is typically available in two forms. First, as an injection subcutaneous or intramuscular. This allows it to be absorbed directly into the bloodstream. It's most commonly used for injury recovery and systemic benefits. It's also available as an oral, capsule, or liquid. This is better for gut healing since it mimics stomach peptides, but it may have weaker effects compared to injections. Common doses, which are based on animal studies, are 250 to 500 micrograms per day for two to four weeks. Injections are often split into two doses per day. Again, without official medical guidelines, there's no confirmed correct dose. So be cautious. So is BPC-157 the ultimate healing peptide? Here's the truth. 
There is strong preclinical evidence supporting its healing and anti-inflammatory properties, but human research is lacking and long-term effects are unknown. If you're dealing with injuries or gut issues, it might be worth looking into, but with caution. I always recommend waiting for more solid human studies before trying experimental therapies. What do you think? Have you tried BPC-157? Or are you considering it? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more pharmacist-approved health tips. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out my other videos on how to live a happy, healthy life. Until next time, stay happy and stay healthy. And I'll see you in the next video.